What's up everybody? It's Jackie and I am continuing on my BitLife Ribbon Adventure. Today, by popular request, I am doing one of the hardest ribbons I've been told that to achieve. The Model Model Bittison Ribbon. The, the namesake ribbon for the game. It's probably going to be a few episodes. I don't think I'm going to get this all in one episode, but I really want to try. It looks... It looks like something that'll be worth getting in the end. Without further ado, I don't wanna I don't wanna prolong this intro any further. I'm going to get right into it. So Lola Morgan, female in Canberra, Australia. It's a lot of we're getting a lot of kids in Australia. I don't know why that keeps this is a random life. I don't know why it keeps having the kids being born in Australia. I was a planned pregnancy. My birthday is August 3rd, I'm a Leo. My name is Lola Morgan. My father is Liam Morgan, a restaurant worker, age 35. My mother is Julia Morgan, a travel agent, age 33. We have a family dog named Lana. All right. So for this one, according to Game Zebo, we basically, this is the total opposite of what we've been doing over the past few episodes. We have to live a life without any drugs or alcohol, all while maintaining good relationship with each family member. <laughs> so we can't be a the addict or an alcoholic. We, we have to pr prioritize our family, so. Oh, and then it says, this is interesting. At some point during your life, a random event will come up and you should respond with calling the police. So we just basically have to be do-gooders. We can't be do-batters, we have to be do-gooders. My mother and my father had a baby girl named Ava. Well, I like that name. My new sister. She was in accidental pregnancy. Yep. They love those in this game. Lana! Alright, so can I start? You're suffering from the flu. So the plan that I have is I'm going to start interacting with the family as soon as I can. So I think I could, can I do that now? Mm, it's conversation. You and your father talked about why mommy keeps saying, oh God, at night. Oh no. <laughs> Not that. Why you gotta have a conversation about the birds and the bees at age three? Oh, it's too much. Spend time. Even stargazing, that's nice. Conversation. So you and your mother had a conversation about your imaginary friend. I had an imaginary friend. He was like really, t he was, <laughs> this sounds weird, but he was this small cartoon that used to, it was like fun size, so, and he was a skateboarder, so he would skateboard off of like church pews, and it was crazy. I was a, I was a creative kid, let's put it that way. <laughs> Eva Morgan, petulance, orange bar, I don't know. This is going to be difficult, but we could do it. So, uh, I took my father. I am cured of the flu, great. Age four. Oh, sh crap. I have to keep... You and your father had a chat about whether or not the Easter Bunny is real. How are the... Okay, so as long as my... Matt helped me with this. As long as my green bars are up, I'm okay. You and your mother discussed if it is better to wipe from front or back. Front to back, dude. Who told you back? There's no discussing. It's, it's front to back. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Front to back or back to front? I mean, no judgment, but it's really front to back. It's because, I mean, I don't want to get into it. It's gross. But back to front, you're getting all that crap in the front. Literally. <laughs> Why is that a discussion you're having? This family's very open. All right, so I have green meters with everybody. Let's just interact with Ava. You and your little sister had a conversation about your favorite movie character. Okay, good. Started primary school. Let's get a dog. Or like, let's get a... Eh, I want a dog. 
And now that I'm a Bittison, I, I don't have to go to the animal shelter. I can go to the dog breeder, which I love. I don't have those ridiculous ads at the bottom. And now all the features are unlocked. Bloodhound. <gasps> I want a beagle in real life. On YouTube, I'm subscribed to a YouTuber called Oliver. The dog, the channel's called Oliver the Beagle. Oh, he's so cute. He's like 10 years old. And he has floppy ears and black eyes and he's tan. Mm. I'm gonna get the baby. I'll get Daisy. Your parents bought you a beagle named Daisy. Great. Let's hang out with our hound. You gave your beagle Daisy some peas. Aww. Give her some bacon. I want bacon right now. <laughs> bacon and egg sandwich sounds so good right now. You brushed your beagle Daisy. Oh man, with, with the nice crispy bacon, the runny yolk, on a nice warm toasted bun. Whew. Gave your diesel beagle Daisy a bath. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Mm, should I interact? No, I don't think so. A group of lost, misfortunate yodelers <laughs> accidentally generate an immense avalanche in Russia, killing 10 people. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh my gosh, I could picture that too, about like nine or ten of them just in the middle of the wild, just going, yo, lo, lo, lo. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Unfortunate, but hilarious. So keep, okay, so let's prioritize Daisy. She's two now. You gave your beagle Daisy some tuna. All right, that's a better snack. I'm glad I'm able to interact with the dog more now. And the other ribbons, I was worried about keeping relationships because I thought it would affect the ribbon, but now I get to I get to spend time with my dog. I felt so bad the other videos just totally ignoring the dog. I'm like, oh. The dog is my favorite part. You put clothes on your beagle, Daisy. That reminds me of when I play Sims 4. I love putting clothes on my dogs and the cats. It's so cute. The hoodies. Oh my goodness. In real life though, I'd probably give my dog maybe a hoodie if they liked it. If not, bandana. I don't want to torture them too much. Okay, I've been seeing the number four a lot lately. Almost too much. My little sister Ava started elementary school. Okay, so let's look at our stats real quick. Happiness at 100%, great. We even have the little excited emoji. Health is at 100%, smarts 98%, and looks 96%. Maybe we'll go to college. I don't know. I have developed the bad habit of picking my nose in public. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right, my dog. You gave your beagle Daisy some deli meat. That's what I'm talking about. Dogs, they love that. So take her for a walk. We took her on a walk to the dog park. We both loved it. Spent some time with Ava. Compliment. You told your little sister Ava that she's brilliant. And she didn't appreciate it. A little brat. Got some talk. Movie theater. What's what's on today? Ask your mother to take you to the movie theater. Mason's Dragon. Oh, so wholesome. You both enjoyed it. And then with Papa Morgan, you spent time with him. Took your father to play catch. Great. All is good in the Morgan household. Daisy, no! <laughs> she got run over by a car and died. What a way to go! Oh, Daisy. 
Oh, you'll be missed, dude. You'll be so missed. Oh, come on. She was only five. What is this? Everything I have dies. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna try this again. Let's go to the pet store and let's get something that probably won't run off into the street and get hit by the ice cream man. A beta fish, Gus the hamster. Smarts and craziness are low, good, so he's too stupid to do anything dumb. Let's get him. There we go. You gave your hamster Gus some sunflower seeds. Let's spend time with him to get that green bar up. You listen to blues music with your hamster Gus. I love Gus. I never got a hamster before, so this is this is a nice little achievement. All right, 10 years old. Okay, nothing. I was looking for extra events, but nothing happened. Mm. Let's... They don't like baths, so I'll wait. That brings it down, the meter, so let's just spend time. You gave some love to your hamster, Gus. Gave him that TLC, tender love and care. Happiness is at 74. Oh, because of Daisy. R.I.P. Rest easy, little one. Mm. I love beagles so much. I love all dogs, so who am I kidding? Um, should I... Interact? I think that should be fine. I had a dream that I could fly. Good for you. <clears throat> Let's take Papa Morgan to the movie theater. Arlo and the Bamboo Stalk. Your father. So I enjoyed the movie. He didn't. Yeah, it was a total ripoff of Jack on the Beanstalk. Let's get real. Mom. Spent time. We went to a hockey game. Nice. And then, oh, here we go. Ava, I know that we haven't been getting along. You're nine years old. Almost, almost in those double digits. I know you must be going through a hard time, but let's, let's spend some quality time, huh? You and your sister Ava discussed your favorite movie character. This little, come on. You and your little sister Ava got into an argument when discussing your favorite movie character. I'm not gonna, oh, there's no snitching. Okay. I was about to say snitches get stitches. Agree to disagree. Apologize. There's definitely no arguing in this one. Compliments. You told your little sister Ava that you think she's a perfect 10. Huh, she's almost turning 10. That's a cool pun. Your little sister Ava called you a brilliant mind. Okay, good. So we're Coolio. My mom? She died after being hit by a car while riding a bicycle. Oh my god! Everything I touch dies! Tender funeral. Lord.